Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use a VPN service on your Nintendo Switch. Now installing a VPN app on the Switch is not currently possible, but there are a couple of methods that would allow you to get all the benefits of VPNs on your Nintendo Switch through external means. So if you are a gamer and want to use a VPN on your Switch, this video is for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the mentioned VPNs a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below, which will help you save some extra money. Now, the first method to use a VPN service on your Nintendo Switch is by creating a VPN hots by using your Windows device. This approach is simple to set up and provides flexibility to modify the VPN settings as required. To begin, ensure that you have a Windows computer with a VPN installed and connected. Then open the network and internet settings on your computer and create the mobile hotspot feature. Create a name and password for your VPN hotspot. Next, access the advanced network settings and locate the mobile hotspot as well as a Microsoft Wi-Fi Direct Virtual Adapter. Right-click on the ExpressVPN adapter, access its properties, and select the Sharing tab. Allow other network users to connect through your computer's internet connection and choose the mobile hotspot from your drop-down menu. Connect to the VPN using ExpressVPN via the OpenVPN UDP protocol. This will establish the VPN location for your hotspot. Finally, navigate to your network settings and connect to this hotspot, which will extend all the VPN benefits to your switch. As for the second method, this involves installing a VPN directly on your home router and connecting your switch to it. This setup emulates the effects of the VPN app on your Switch and allows VPN usage on other devices connected to your home network as well. So let me guide you through the process and I'll be using ExpressVPN for demonstration purposes. To begin, sign up for a VPN service that supports a router installation and select a suitable subscription plan, download the VPN provider's app, and complete the installation process. Next, access your router's administration interface by entering its IP address into your web browsers. You can find detailed instructions on how to do this in your router's manual or on the manufacturer's website. Once you are in the admin interface, download the ExpressVPN firmware designed for your specific router model from the provider's website, save the firmware file to your computer within the admin interface, locate the firmware upgrade option, and update the previous downloaded ExpressVPN firmware file. Please note that this process may take a few minutes, so it's important to remain patient and avoid interrupting it. After successfully flashing the firmware, log into your router's admin interface once again and navigate to ExpressVPN settings. Enter your ExpressVPN username and password to establish a connection between your router and the VPN service. Within the settings, you can also customize the VPN server location and configure additional preferences. Once the router is connected to ExpressVPN, any device that connects to your Wi-Fi network will automatically be protected by the VPN service. With that being said, it's important to note that not all VPN services are suitable for these methods and many lack advanced protocols and may even pose security risks. With numerous VPN options available, finding the right one for your needs can be overwhelming. So to simplify your search and help you make a more informed decision, I have compiled a list of three VPN services that are currently the best of the best. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you and I'll explain why. Now, starting with ExpressVPN, and this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, 
and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value of VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. Now, if you're interested in Surfshark, we have an exclusive discount we can offer for fans of our channel, and I'll show you how it works. So if you directly go to Surfshark's website, the deal you're currently get is 24 months for $249 per month, saving 81%. And with other channels and websites, you'll get two free months and an 82% discount. However, if you use our exclusive coupon code, you'll be getting three free months in total, saving you 83%, which is the best deal available on the internet. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of the mentioned VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below. And feel free to comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to respond to as many of those as I can, as fast as I can. And finally, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.